This is tutorial number 66 and it covers how to use the shell feature within Katia v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 66 which is located on the DVD. Now the shell feature can be found on the toolbar over here or you can go to insert, dress up features and click shell. Now the shell feature, what it does is it's kind of like the thick, uh, the thickness feature when you extrude. It's going to create a hollow body inside and from the shell feature you're able to uh, create say like a part and then kind of make a mold or kind of like a cavity that that part would have fit in. So to start off let me show you how to go through and select the options so we'll click shell and what it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to click faces to remove. So each face you click is going to be removed and then the inside thickness that's how thick your part's going to be after. So let's change this to 10 and let's click this face here. Click OK and then you're going to notice that it's cut out there and that the thickness is 10 and it also everything else in here is hollow. If I click on there you can see the profile within there is all hollow. Now if I press Ctrl Z and delete this one we'll do the same shell but we'll only do one millimeter, click this face, and now you can see again how it cuts through and how it goes through this body also. So the shell feature, when you're trying to shell out a part, it allows you to uh, create that shell inside of the part without going through and remodeling everything. So it's a real big time saver and it's a very powerful tool for you. Now if we delete this shell, and I'll do another one, the two options here show an inside thickness and an outside thickness. Now what we've been doing is just kind of eating away from the inside. Now say this entire part we wanted to kind of make a mold for it. What we'd have to use is the outside thickness. So let's make this zero and let's make this one here two. Now we'll click this face here and rather than uh, having an, an inside thickness there we're going to have it on the outside, so everything's going to move out. Click OK, and you can see how the entire part kind of moved out, and the original part that we had would fit inside of this cavity that we've just created. So you can see that we have a cavity there with a 2 millimeter thickness. So with the shell feature, you're able to kind of make uh, molded parts. So if you have a part, you're able to kind of shell and make like the negative for it. So it allows you to use, like I have here, I kind of made a, you know, a unique profile and design, not something that you would want to go back and kind of slowly create like a minimum thickness for and to shell out. So using like the shell, like the shell feature, it allows you to create that negative quickly and easily. So again, with the shell feature, you can either do an inside thickness that's just uh, showing, that's just going to add thickness to the inside or you can do a thickness to the outside. When you do it to the outside, the original shape that you had is going to be able to fit into that body that you just shelled with the outside thickness. And again, you're able to remove multiple faces, so I'll click this face here and this face here, click OK, and it shelled it using those two faces. So it's all up to you how you want to use it. Uh, it's a very powerful tool. The more uh, practice you have with it, with parts that you've made by trying to shell them, the more you're going to have an understanding. So the more you practice with this tool, the better you'll be at it. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the shell feature within Katia V5. Mm -hmm.